REC, Q-Cells, Silfab. Who makes the best solar panel for your home in 2025? In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five reasons why REC beats the competition, and make sure that you watch till the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts on why 2025 is the best time to go solar if you're an American. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about five reasons why REC is the top residential solar panel. Uh, and the first reason, of course, is the higher module efficiency. Now, when we talk about module efficiency, what we mean is what percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of the solar module, what percentage is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity? You know, with solar panels, even with today's high efficiency solar panels, the majority of, of light energy is not captured and converted to electricity. Uh, in fact, as of this recording, we would consider anything in the 22% range to be a high efficiency solar module. In other words, 22% of the sunlight that hits the surface of the solar module gets successfully captured and converted to usable electricity. Now, a standard solar module may only be able to capture about 20% of the sunlight that hits the surface. Uh, a lot of the rest of that sunlight gets reflected off. Some of it passes straight through the module. And of course, some energy is lost as heat in the conversion process. But right now, the REC solar module offers 22.6% module efficiency, meaning that it's going to make more efficient use of your roof space because a higher percentage of the sunlight that hits that solar module will be captured and converted into electricity. Uh, and of course, a big reason for this higher efficiency is the heterojunction technology. Now, heterojunction technology uses a combination of amorphous or thin film silicon as well as crystalline silicon. And the result is a more efficient solar cell. Now, the second major advantage is the lower degradation rate. Now, pretty much all solar panels being offered today will have a 25 year performance guarantee. However, the panel is expected to lose a small percentage of its performance each year as the solar panel ages. Now, a standard solar panel will lose about a half a percent of its output per year, whereas a premium panel, like the REC Alpha Series, will only lose about a quarter of a percent of its performance per year, meaning that in year 25, which is the terminal year of the warranty, the REC module is still guaranteed to produce at least 92% of its initial rated power. A standard solar panel may tap out at 80 or 82% or 85% of initial rated power. So what that means is that that solar module is gonna produce more usable energy or it's gonna harvest more usable energy over the lifetime of the system. All right, the third major advantage is the lower temperature coefficient. Now, solar panels are very similar to other electronic equipment. Um, when they have to operate at higher temperatures, the efficiency goes down. And so the, the percentage of output that is lost for each degree above the ideal temperature that the solar module has to operate, this is known as the temperature coefficient. Now, standard test conditions are 25 degrees Celsius. That's what we consider sort of the, the ideal lab conditions. And for each degree over that, you're gonna have a small percentage lost because of having to operate in high heat conditions. So you want a module that has the lowest temperature coefficient possible, uh, especially for those of you who live in very hot environments, um, certain places in California, um, Nevada, Phoenix, places like this where you get extreme high temperatures on the rooftop during the summertime, investing in a solar module that has a low temperature coefficient means that, uh, again, you're gonna get more total usable energy out of that module over the lifetime of the system, especially when it has to operate in extreme high heat environments. All right, the fourth major advantage is the ProTrust warranty. Now again, pretty much all tier one solar panels are gonna have a 25 year warranty that covers the power output. Um, in many cases, we'll cover the mechanical aspects of the solar module as well. But the REC warranty goes a step further in guaranteeing labor as well. Meaning that if you have a defective solar panel and for whatever reason, if the contractor that did your original installation is not able to send somebody out there to make repairs or to replace the panel, then REC will take on at its own expense the cost of labor to have somebody come out there to swap out a defective solar panel. Uh, and that is especially important in today's environment because those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that the rate of contractor business failures has been very high over the past couple of years. And there's a very good chance that whoever does your original install, that company may not be around five or six years from now. 
So having that additional la layer of protection directly from the manufacturer is just gonna give you more peace of mind as a potential owner. And then the fifth major advantage is the stronger mechanical support with the dual crossbar on the back of the module. So solar panels have to be rated for a particular wind rating as well as a particular dead load rating, like for, for snow loading. And with REC's design, using the dual crossbar in the back, it just gives you a mechanically stronger solar module. Uh, in fact, we had a chance to push these modules to the max to see just how much weight that they could take. I believe we were able to simulate what, what would have been over nine feet of snow, the equivalent of weight of nine feet of snow. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen that previous video, go back and, and see that previous video with me and George McLennan, where we basically overload this solar panel with sandbags to make sure that it's meeting or exceeding uh, its rated dead load. So these have been the five main points of why the REC Alpha Solar Module beats the competition. Now folks, as I'm recording this right now, we're in late July 2025, and I've got to say, if, if you're watching this in the United States, this is probably the best time for you to go solar if this is something you've been thinking about and you want the investment to actually pay for itself. Um, the reason for that, of course, is that at the end of this year, we are losing the 30% residential solar tax credit. And of course, that extra 30% residential tax credit is what makes the investment really pencil out and make sense for many of you. Um, the other thing is that right now, you can still purchase most solar equipment at pre-tariff pricing. But we know eventually the effects of tariffs are gonna drive up some of the, the equipment cost. So if you're thinking about going solar and you want, you want the asset to actually perform the best for you in terms of your return on investment, then now is the time to do that. Uh, so as always, if you need to get a price quote for solar or if you already have one or two quotes and you need to get a comparison, best thing is to just reach out to us on the link below here. You can chat with one of our experts or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage cost in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. Again, this is five reasons why the REC solar module beats the competition. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new releases, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. But that does it for today. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.